Hey guys, hey, been a little while. Just had to have a break. You know, sometimes you just need a break and to just kind of work in the mundane for a little while before you come back. Well, I took my little break and I am back. And coming back with two of the books that I'm reading right now, you know, that's one of the series that I like to do on my channel is talk about the books that I'm reading. So one of the books, and I am reading this with my coven. It has been so much fun. It's um, Mythology for a Magical Life, Stories, Rituals, and Reflections to Inspire Your Craft by Amber Grant. I am so loving this book, and it is fun to be reading with uh, a group of people also. But she goes over different mythologies in here and then goes over lessons that she's gained from that mythology. She also... Um, has some rituals in here, the stories, the reflections, and all have been nice to go through. Um, I'm really enjoying this book. Um, and the author is really doing a good job. Not that I keep wanting to go over some of the stories as I go over them um, and as she reflects on them, some of the stories I don't quite see the same way she does, which is still good. I mean, it's still good for reflection. And um, even with some of my convert common members, I think it's fun to uh, see the message we got out of the story. So this is really a, I think it's a really good book. Um, again, it's called Mythology for a Magical Life Stories, Rituals and Reflections to Inspire Your Craft. So there's some things you can use, like she has some rituals and all of that, then correlates that with the stories. And then the lessons usually at the end of the chapter are things you can reflect on. So very good, very well done. Really liking that book. Now this book right here, um, I just started. And it is The Beauty with the Secret Recipes Rituals for the Modern Goddess by Elise Marie. I am really, but I just started this book, but I am loving it. First of all, as you can see, the book is beautiful. Now you'll see my hand come up here because I'm going to be kind of going through some of the pages and some of the chapters. Tools for divination, uh, invocation of the goddess, um, and the pictures and stuff, they're just beautiful. I'm trying to go over some more. Oops, sorry about that. Having some technical difficulties as I frequently do, but you can see some of the pictures and on the side, she'll have like little insights or little things to think about um, as you go through. This is crowning glory, talking about your hair and that kind of thing. I mean, the book is just beautiful in itself. I also like a ritual baths and you can see there she has everything prepared for a bath and like I said the pictures are just beautiful she has the different sections and then again here she'll give you some kind of beauty secret or something this book is so so good I am so enjoying this book um like I said I'm kind of not that far away through but I like the rituals. I like the way she's done it. Um, which is brews, which she'll go over different brews. She goes over tips and tricks to help you feel beautiful. She also has in here suggestions for things. It is just a really good book and very, very well done. I really suggest you get this one. Um, if I had to give a four out of five, definitely this one would get a five for me. Um, now, if I change my mind as I go through more of the book, I'll come back. And at the end, as you can see, she has some resources, which I always love a book that comes with resources um, and that has some type of bibliography or something. And she does in here. So just a little bit about her um this book i'm trying to get it up here this book called potions um enjoy it has potent potions and joyous rituals for natural goddess glamour 
Um, and it says, become your most spellbinding self inside and out through every stage of your life. Elise Marie guides you into her inner sanctum where you'll enjoy empowerment and practical magic that elevates your beauty, beauty routine from a monotonous chore to a sensual ceremony. Elise presents an abundant collection of plant-powered recipes and rituals for facial and body care, healing baths, kitchen witchery, and much more. Create elixirs, oils, and nectars that give you irresistibility, um, smooth skin, and gorgeous hair. Align with the cycles of the moon, explore the power of nature, and connect with the goddess. Featuring photos and time-tested secrets, this book reveals the enchanted beauty that is your birthright. birthright. Very, very good book. Um, I, one of the things she has in here is about, you know, creating a beauty altar in your bathroom, which um, I don't really call mine an altar, but maybe a shrine. Um, and it was fun to do that. Just has fun suggestions. Um, and it doesn't matter about your age or any of that. It just has good things that, you know, increase and help with that goddess beauty. I might go over some one day just to kind of, uh, as I go through the book more, I'll go over some beauty tips and beauty secrets in here to enhance. Because I'm all about um, feeling beautiful no matter what age, size, or whatever. Feeling good about yourself and enhancing that goddess glamour. So those are the two books that I am reading. Um, you be powerful. You be gorgeous. You enhance that goddess beauty inside of yourself. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.